Hey, happy New Year's Eve. What up, Beavis? It's like, hey. <laughs> How's it? Can I bring here? Let me pet him. I'm just holding that way. <laughs> he's, he's watching watch this part of a snippet. Where's he at? Where's he at? Watch this. Hey, baby. Don't worry. He's not going to do that on camera. Yeah. Trust me. Now he's watching you, you're, you're holding him, he's already pet him gently. He's so funny. The Beavis man, he shoveled down some crickets today. You know, and he, he was eating his dog food, his organic, whatever. Just looking at people anyway, he loves that shit. It doesn't stink bad because it's all organic, it's just straight up just chicken, turkey, beef, no added crap. So it doesn't smell like ass. But anyway, <laughs> say what up, Red? Red! You just getting that light, you get that sun. Yeah, so I took a uh, change the water for Jimmy and Debo. My snake is <laughs> so they're shedding. I think Debo completely shed. Um, Jimmy is getting the rest of it out, so and he's kept please continue to keep it down, but he's kept the rat down. I'm like, yes, so successfully, and both of them have eaten. Uh, so I, I get him today's like day three, so I get him. Jimmy's big, I just give him three days. I don't want to. You know, you want your babies to eat, you know, and, uh, and that's great. So everyone's eating, they're shedding. I don't know about this thermostat. I might get a different one. I just cannot get an accurate reading. Like Jimmy's will be great. The Debo seems like it's too cold. I'm like, what? If, if you guys have ball pythons, you know, a great brand to plug in my under heat. What's it called? The damn heater under the tank, under tank heater. Yeah. Uh, let me know um, if you feel hot enough. But I mean, I can tell Jimmy's getting warmer, but I know the, the brand I have, the lady, she told me is like, she sets it a couple, you know, a few degrees higher than it'll get to the one it needs to be at, you know? So that's cool. It's like, no, it'll be all right. I mean, they're getting their food down, they're shedding, the humidity's, you know, fantastic. Um, so my lunch break, yeah, Aiden and I went to uh, get some crickets, came back, uh, cleaned up Nikki's poo, and sorry, Two doors to the bathroom. That always scares the turtles if you just come in through that door. Hey, where's Beavis? Oh, you got him? Cool. Um, yeah, sorry, I know you know like the smell of that burnt garlic. I just saute the like, shit out of it. What up, Nikki? Yes, honey, it's my third time trying to record this video. Yeah, it's a good boy. He has little mohawks. His mohawk, his spines, or whatever. He's got a little bit of shed in the top of his face, so they're gonna last of that out. So he's doing good. Where's my little Beavis? <laughs> Hey, Beavis. He just tries to bite. That's why I have him. Oh, he just, he just, he just, he just calling the bluff. Right. What up, baby? Oh, my hair sticky. Your hair sticky? Sticking up. Oh, you, you want to walk around? No. Oh, my little baby. Well, I'm about to make my nachos. But I, so, or else I would totally hold him. Yeah, Beavis rules. So, you know, we secured at night or if we're going to be gone for a long time. We just, in my lunch break, we just ran down the street to get some crickets. So, uh. He likes to explore, so he's on the windowsill when we got back, but he goes to the same spot. So Aiden's room, closet, the turtle tank. He likes to walk around that. The bathroom, or Trent Resna. <laughs> so I checked behind there. <laughs> he's so rad, but um, yeah, the animals are eating good. And like I mentioned before, you know, this is the this is that's the best that there is. So um, you know, I mean you got husbandry is just I like husbandry. I like just just getting something right, you know, it feels good. Um, yeah, so it's kind of a, you know, a lot of people do their end of the year video. And I've only had that YouTube channel since like August. I got Nikki. Or when I got one of the turtles. Can't remember. But yeah, so I'll just sum it up. I don't have any editing device to show old clips, but if you're bored, just <laughs> scroll down <laughs> um, the history. But um, this has been great at 2020, you know, I look at the perks I've had my son, um, uh, well before, okay, before the pandemic, the stay at home order, I'd get my son five days in any order of the week, whether it's just like after scout soccer, then the weekends, you know, so his dad right now, then after the pandemic, just stay at home order. The weeks that I, I work from home, Aiden stays with me. And then the next week he gets his dad, we switch him on Sunday. So I've had my son like consecutively. It's just been awesome. You know, yeah, I'm one of those parents. Uh, I'm not dying to get drop my kid off somewhere. Like, someone babysit, someone get drunk. You know, no, I had a kid because I wanted one. No, don't get me wrong. It's great to have a mom's night out. I just get sad after like four hours. I miss my kid. I mean, I, I just, I was like, oh, when you get older, you know, as he gets older, it won't be like that. Or you won't miss, it's like, 
like some me time, but to cut a whole week is pretty hard. I kind of, you know, it was a little bit easier to have like a, you know, I, I, you know, Monday, Tuesday, I wouldn't see him. I get him Thursday for scouts, Friday for, or what, Wednesday scouts, then like Thursday soccer, drop him off Friday morning. So even if I saw him for just like an hour that day or something, I mean, just, that's kind of cool. Like how it's been great. And then my mom came down, so that was badass. Uh, my mom was there. She was here when we got Gamera. Well, we had Gamera and Godzilla and Reptar, you know, and I just, like I said, again, for new people watching, I, I used to have an iguana when I was 15 and, you know, the internet was still, <laughs> I hate to sound how old, the, the, the internet was still, you know, it's fairly, well, it wasn't, I mean, it's popular, but it's just up and coming. So I didn't have all these YouTube channels, as much research, you know, how, how they, all they would have would be like just, outdated research you know so i don't really know the proper carrots and they needed to be hot and yeah i think he had a respiratory infection or something i can't even remember i just know upon my clarinet because you know i did middle school no i'm a bassist you know, an amateur uh, drummer rhythm guitarist you know so of course the bass you know the clarinet playing bass whatever but you know i didn't want to do marching band and all that stuff so i sold it got the money bought an iguana and then, you know, like I mentioned again in several videos, you know, after having Aiden, you always wanted a turtle. I was like, nah, I just, you know, I just want to wait till he's older. And again, he helps out. He helps me clean them out. He just, he plays with them, gives them attention. You know, likes to feed. I like to feed too, so. I let him feed Debo. We fight. I want to feed the snake. So we got, yeah, I'll handle Jimmy. He does, handles Debo. But um, it's, it's real fun with Aiden. So I kind of waited and I just, I feel like all my bucket list animals. Um, it's been a great year, so I can devote the time and get everything set up like I wanted to. Um, yeah, because I mean, and that's been a good thing about 2020, not rushing. No, I miss I miss the soccer fan, let me tell you. And these are like nice stereotypical soccer moms, just, you know, it's ticks. So they're all cool and stuff. And, uh, you know, I actually made pretty cool friends. And, yeah, I miss all of them. So that was the thing. So I miss you know, watching my son play soccer. It's just fun, like, getting that exercise and... This is a little pizza place we go to in the old little downtown area after um, each game. So we kind of have like, you know, routine. So that, that was kind of sad. And, but, you know, my mom came down. It was a blast. We were still able to go to our uh, little resort condo we uh, go to every year at the beach. So I was badass. And we had amazing memories there. We brought the turtles. I just got the turtles. I don't want to be gone for a week, you know, with a uh, red tar Godzilla. I'm like, oh, you want them to get used to you? So they stayed, you know, that's that pretty badass. So <laughs> they went to the beach, but then, you know, this year I'm going to have, a, you know, some pet sitter take care of that. Um, yeah, so um, it's been a pretty good year working from home. <laughs> I just love working from home because I get more sleep. So 2020 has been great. You look at that, you know, and I get up at five. So because I now through the office, I have it takes a long time to wake up, get my life, you know, prep food or but some people do that. Some stuff I don't like certain foods made the night before. It should be squishy and you bring your lunch, you know. So I mean, it's just like kind of go with the flow. My eyes aren't bloodshot. All red eyes. Not that they're like all red, but I know the bottom would just be a little more irritated and you know, chronic dry eye. But I wasn't getting, you know, I hear I'm sleeping until 7:20 and I'm. I'm um, clocked in, ready to work at eight. You know, so it's pretty badass. Um, you know, and, but it's pretty cool though. I mean, when we started going back to the office, we rotate weeks. It's it pretty cool to see people like <laughs> you hadn't seen like almost a year. Oh my God, what's up? You know, so I work with pretty cool people. Thank God. You know, but I do enjoy work from home. So, and like I said, I've had old jobs where the gossip is like tenfold is insane the drama so it's not like at this place so it's pretty cool to get a little a break and go to the office for you know for a week so it's kind of shake it up you know so uh it's kind of cool get out of the house so i kind of like that just keep it like that one week on one week off you know <laughs> so uh but yeah so i've been a blessing because you know i can have my son even more so just waiting for just you know friday after work i'm not making that drive to pick him up because his dad works too so before the pandemic i mean we're both in the same crappy traffic so no one's really able to because the grandparents yeah they pick in uh his parents um on the dad's side pick aiden up from school and um for us so it's just my time to do that and the way traffic is is just it's only really beneficial might as well wait 
you know, my job's been awesome, you know, the family life balance. I'm able to, before pandemic, I'm able to get off at 4.30, then that has time to beat all that horrible traffic. So just like semi-shitty traffic. I still get there, back, and it's not like it's already time for bed, dinner, straight to bed. So it's good to have a job that, that has a family work balance. So thank God for their help. So my folks still live up, up north, so they're two, you know, 600 miles away. So they would happily help too if they were you know here. Um, you know, but it's been pretty good here, and I, I just love my animals. I finally, uh, you know, the painting again, and it's kind of lose the who you are sometimes. I think 2020 kind of let me just reconnect with myself and just, you know, be creative again. And just the love I have for my animals is just so therapeutic for me. Just, you know, change up their habitat, just interact with them, watch them grow, just feeding them. It's just like, it gives me life. I know it sounds cheesy, you know, but, um, rotate arms here.